What's up, everybody? I am in my garage, and I am planning for a quick hike, kind of. It's like nine miles, nine or ten miles. My beard is getting real scraggly. But um, it's like nine or ten miles, and three peaks, three 4,000 footers, um, and I have a real urge and need to bring my climbing gear, the little bit of climbing gear that I have, no big rack or anything like that, but I have rope, I have um, shoes and a small rack, my harness and things like that, and I keep them in my Flagner Fail dry bag. Um, it's like any other dry bag, rolled up at the top and clipped at the top, and it's got a couple good handholds. It's super rugged, and it's got nice straps on it. I went over this before in a video. Go back and check that out. But um, it doesn't. So here's the downfall. So here's where my quandary comes from. I want to bring my climbing stuff, but I have a 90 meter rope, or not 90 meter rope. I have a 60 meter rope. Uh, which is like over 200 feet. There goes my my uh, hell do you call that sleeping pad. Um, so sorry about that. So this pack obviously is just like a school bag, just straps, no waist strap, no chest cinch. Um, it's comfortable, but. This 60 meter rope in here is extremely heavy. It's like, I would say like 20 pounds it feels like, which is pretty heavy for a day hike. I don't want to, you know, if I, we were planning on going super light because the last trip we did, we went super heavy because we had camping gear and tents and things like that. So we wanted to go super light, hit three peaks without having to pack all this gear. So I was going to bring my normal day pack, my EMS board pack, board day pack with just water and snacks basically. And then I got this bright idea that I wanted to climb sporadically, get some good footage of some backcountry New England climbing um, on spots that we just find you know, top rope and see if we can make it to the top without having to rappel down. Uh, just ghetto style like that. But uh, I'm torn because, I mean, I wanted to do a quick hike and, and not have to stress. But uh, the other thing with this is I can't fit water. I mean, I, I could possibly roll this out a little bit and fit some waters and uh, snacks in there. But not like I could in here. So let me know. What you think in the comments, what should I do? Should I just send it and stuff as much snacks as I can in there and bring a handheld water bottle and, and get some good climbing footage? Or should I scratch the climbing idea, save that for its own adventure and just do these three, 4,000 footers? I don't know what to do, so I could use your help. So comment below and uh, let me know what I should do. Day pack, climbing gear, day pack, climbing gear. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what to do. I'm leaving on Saturday morning, early.